Hi guys, this is Gemma uh, from Artstitution. I've got this cutie little raccoon king that we're uh, going to paint today. Um, if you could please subscribe to our channel. Um, and also, if you paint um, any of our videos, if you could... Um, share them on Facebook so that we can see or post them on Instagram that would be great because we'd really like to see what you guys are coming up with um, I uh, I'm realizing I need red here forgot to put red um, if you've never painted with us before uh, here's what we've got here oh whoops sorry okay um I've got my tray of acrylic paints. I'm gonna mix my colors on this plate. I've got paper towels to dry my brushes off and a water cup to rinse them. I've got three guys here. Uh, this little guy will use uh, for tiny little details. This medium guy will be our um, paint mixer. So I'll use him as my scooper to scoop my paints out of my egg cartons onto my plate and also I'll paint with him. Um, this big guy I might use um, maybe on the background, maybe when we paint in the gray. I haven't decided yet. Um, when I painted the original I just used these two smaller brushes but I'm, we'll see what happens. But with that um, brush wise it's really whatever use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, you don't have to use a certain brush because that's what I'm using. Um, it's all about comfort level. Um, so um, this guy is gonna take a little bit of work before he looks like that. Uh, so just bear with me. Um, we're gonna have to build him up a little bit before he looks like this. So it's gonna be a lot of bouncing around. Um, the green that's the background, I think it took me three layers before it was solid. Um, you know, it didn't have the brush stroke, you know, um, like the see-throughness of the brush strokes uh, where you could see the canvas behind it. Um, same with the crown, with that yellow. Um, and with him too, we're going to have to work up to this. So it's a lot of, we'll do a little bit of him, a little bit of the crown, a little bit of the background back to some of him, back to some of the crown, back to some of the background. So just take your time. Um, lucky for you with the video, you can, you know, pause and rewind and follow along uh, with what I have. But um, the colors too, whatever you want to do for the background is totally up to you. Um, I'm going to mix up a green. Uh, the same with the crown if you want to do a different color you can, um, but uh, just take your time and have fun, because that's what this is for. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm going to mix up some colors first, so I have them ready to go here. Um, so while my brush is clean now, I'm going to take white and put it in the middle of my plate, probably do like three scoops of it just so I know I have a clean white there. Um, we're going to, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to draw him out in like a lighter gray. So I have, uh, let's do two scoops of white. I'm gonna do kind of a half scoop of black. I'm gonna mix that up first. Um, while I'm mixing this, just for his fur, that brush stroke um, look to make it kind of look like fuzzy hair, uh, do that little bits at a time, which I'll say that as we're doing, I'm painting it too, but <clears throat> don't think that if you use a big giant clump of white that that's going to give you that effect and cover up the black. We're going to have to bounce back and forth a little bit, so we're going to do you know, some of the black, we'll go back with some of the white, we'll go back with some of the black and back with some of the white. It's going to be kind of a back and forth process, so just be patient with me. 
and with yourself while you're doing it. Um, all right, so now with this, I'm gonna mix up this green. So when you're mixing all of your paint, um, because we're gonna be going back and forth a little bit, actually we could paint him in first, I guess, and then do the yellow, give us some time to dry. Okay, so um, we're going to use this to draw him out. Obviously it's not gonna, we're gonna paint the whole thing a solid gray and then we'll come back with some white. So just to kind of use your imagination for some of it. The dog came up here, so if you hear snorts or snoring, <laughs> it's her. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna map out this raccoon here. So these shoulders, we're gonna do that first. So keep in mind, this negative space too here, like I'm almost, this almost creates kind of like a square same thing over here. Um, so just as you're drawing, look at that negative space as well as the positive space. Okay, so here's, I'll draw him up a little more. So shoulders. Now, this shape here is what we're going to go to next. So, what I want you to do is we're going to draw kind of like a dot to where his forehead is going to be. So keep in mind how much room you want for the crown. And I'm gonna draw almost like a rainbow for a super sad face. Okay, and then that's gonna be the shape that we're gonna draw down here. Keep it sketchy, doesn't need to be perfect. And then we're gonna just go over this way. So same thing. And see how I barely have any paint on my brush? Um, that'll help you to kind of draw. If you don't like your lines too, don't worry about it because when we do the background, we're gonna do enough layers of it that you can cover it up if you don't like the shapes, okay? So now, figure kind of the crown is gonna be here. So we'll draw his little ears in. And they're almost like triangles. They're just kind of rounded out at the sides. Okay, so now that you have your basic shape of him, you can now go back if you want to add a little bit. I think I'm going to make him a little longer up this way. So we'll make his ears a little bit bigger. This part too, like... Don't think of the hair that we have kind of flicking off. That we'll add to later. For now, you're just doing this shape that's here. Okay, I think that's all right. And for now, actually, I think I want to make him a little. I'm gonna make him a little thinner here. Um, I don't want to mess you guys up. Let's see if I just... See now, I'm just going to paint this white right now, and I'm just going to wipe it. Now for you guys at home, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for video purposes so that you don't, you see that, you don't get messed up by that line there, okay? So now, when we do our background, this spot here, we might have to do a few more layers on. But that's okay, because we'll have, we'll have to do a few anyway. Um, so let's paint him in now. And what I want you to do is don't think about any of the shapes inside. Right now he's just going to be this solid gray color. And try to keep it thin. It doesn't need to be, you know, a huge thick coat of paint. This is just giving you kind of like an underwash for his fur. Um, an underwash meaning like a first, you know, just a first layer of paint here. blobs that you have, make sure you spread those guys out. <laughs> Again, 
and that snoring is not me. It's the doggy on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do this. All right, so now why this, while this is wet, what I want you to do is kind of map out almost like where you're going to have everything be. So you can kind of draw over. See how you're just, you can probably see better on your canvas than on mine, but if you just draw over while the paint's wet, you can map everything out and that'll help you later. Okay, so you can see that, that negative space where I have those eyes, just so you have some kind of, like something to follow later. Um, don't worry about the eyeballs, we'll go back and do those. But um, just so you have something right now to follow. Okay, and then we're gonna rinse our brush, we're gonna make that yellow for your crown. So for that yellow, I'm going to do a scoop of white, a scoop of yellow, and I'm going to add little bits of red. So the first few, I mean, first maybe layer or two is going to be like a darker, almost orangey kind of color. And then we'll go back in with a, like a lighter yellow to give it some highlight pieces. Okay, um, and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue, teeny, 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 barely any blue. Just to make it a little bit of more of a goldish tone. Okay, and now when we're doing this crown, I'm going to use the um, tiny brush to draw it out. I'm going to use this big brush to do this rainbow piece, okay? So wipe off your brush so you don't have a big gob of paint on there. And you're just going to go over, try not to touch the gray. So you're just going to go over, kind of in like a rainbow shape here. Now I didn't go down all the way to the gray. I left a little space because I didn't want it to mix into my yellow. But we can come back later, we can add to that. Oops. Okay, so now you have this piece. I'm going to go in with my tiny brush. So you can put this brush in your water cup. And I'm going to go back in with my tiny brush. Now what I did for these, I drew these three triangles and then I filled in these two and then filled in the outside two. That was just how I thought I could figure it out. But um, when you're doing this, try not to put a lot on your brush. And now I'm going to do that center triangle. So I'm going to draw, ooh, and watch your gray is still wet, so be careful you don't stamp on your raccoon. Um, I'm going to draw from where the top of that triangle is going to be, I'm going to draw a line down because that's the center of my crown. And then I'm going to make the triangle around that line that I just drew. Okay. Don't worry about those lines. We can fill those in later when the paint is dry. So I have that first triangle. Okay, now I'm going to 
making the two here. So figure you're leaving you're leaving a space for these back two. I'm gonna draw these here. So I'm gonna go almost to the side here and almost to the side here. Okay? So same thing. If you need to, you can draw that center line and then connect the dots. And then the circles, what I did, um, sorry, I don't think I said this yet. I made this circle the biggest, these two I made a little smaller, and then these four I made a little smaller than these. Just so they had a little different size to them. Okay, now same thing on this side. <laughs> so that's down there. I'm gonna do a dot here and a dot here. That's where my triangle is going to come down to. Okay. And then that line that goes in the middle. I'm going to just connect those guys down. So that goes back to the cozy window. Okay. All right, so we've got oops. We've got those three. Now the two that go in between are going to be a little bit lower, and it's going to be halfway. I'm just going to draw them down to that guy and down to that guy. Ooh, that one got a little fat. But that's okay. And then same thing. I don't know why that middle line helps me to kind of create where that triangle is going to go. You don't have to do that if you're confident drawing your your uh, triangle pieces down. It's totally up to you. Alright, and then we're going to go teeny tiny little flat pieces. And these circles, don't worry, because we're going to paint the background around this. If you need to edit those, you can do that with the background color. We can come back later with this gold, too. If you need to. Okay, and then these end triangle pieces are going to go, same thing, they're going to go behind. So I'm going to draw this guy up from here, and then he's going to go down to the corner. I'm leaving a little lip here on the side of that crown piece. And for now, he's just, it's going to be one solid color. When we come back later, that's when we're going to draw in these white highlight pieces to make them look like individual points coming out. So just forget about that right now. Right now, just have him be one complete solid color. Um, I'm going to use the top of my canvas with my pinky to kind of hold my hand straight. Um, and then same thing, it's going to go to, um, it's going to come behind this guy and be a little bit lower. I'm going to draw him down to there and then down to here. She must be dreaming about something good. Chasing rabbits. Sorry, 
Okay, <laughs> so beat this guy down. top circle make him a little bit bigger and try if you can any gloppy pieces of paint just try to spread those thin so that when we come back later it's dry all right so now we're going to start to fill out our raccoon um, we're gonna go in with white um, and I'm gonna use my middle brush if you would like to use your little brush you can I like how the middle brush kind of gives you that flick um, it almost looks like fur sometimes when you flick this brush up um, it gives you that edge of like the fuzzy fur pieces. You can do that with your little brush too. It's, it's completely up to you. Um, just figure out kind of what you're comfortable with and go with that. So I'm gonna use this white that I have on my plate here. And I'm going to, you don't need scoops of paint. I'm just kind of like getting both sides paint, painty. Um, and we're gonna start to draw in the whites right now. Um, don't think of this as a final white because we'll go back with the black um, we're actually gonna mix up like a dark gray so we're gonna come back we're gonna do this white now we're gonna mix up a dark gray do some of that and then we're gonna come back with white so if your white mixes into the gray we'll come back and add more white to it to make it brighter so don't think you need to do a lot of paint to make it really white right now right now this is just your first layer of white so I'm going to start up here with the ears, so I'm just going to draw in, I'm going to draw in this top part here, and it's going to go all the way over to the edge here. Um, don't worry right now about, like all of this extra that's the fur, like fluff that we fluff out, we have to do that after the background is dry. So right now we're just going to, we're going to add in some of this white. That's going to be our first layer of white and then we'll come back and lighten that up even more so don't worry about doing those outside fluffs because it's just going to get covered up when we do the background so don't do those fluffs now <laughs> okay so ear we'll do this ear here so same thing drawing down leaving a little bit of gray drawing over leaving a little bit of gray on the side Fluffing up a little bit. This too, like, y you can get practice now in it because this is just going to be an under layer. We're going to do another layer of uh, white after we go through with the black. But for now, just kind of get used to it. Um, so now we're going to start to draw in his head. Now I'm going to have this part overlap the bottom a little bit. So it's going to sag down a little. Um, and then I'm just going to start to kind of fluff that in and I'm going to work around the eyes here again don't go into the background because we're going to paint that right now you're just kind of filling in and getting some white layers in all right so now you're going to work your way up so I'm going to go around kind of where I had those eye patchy pieces and disregard the nose we'll come back to do him now I'm gonna leave this piece kind of open here because that piece I know I'm gonna do dark so I'm just gonna leave that and so I'm gonna continue to go kind of around where the eyes would be.
again, don't go into the background. Just lighten up the edge here. And the same thing with this way. And around the wizard. You don't need a lot of paint. You're just almost like brushing in just this beginning layer. Okay, kind of looks like a weird alien. <laughs> okay, um, you don't need to worry about this part. We're going to come back with the dark and then we'll come back with the light. What I want you to do now, we're going to mix up the light for your background, the light, I'm sorry, the green for your background. So uh, rinse your brush off. Actually, yes, you didn't really need to because you got white on it, but um, I'm gonna mix up this green and I know that I need a lot of it, so I'm gonna make a good big pile. Um, when you're doing something like this, if you have a lot of paint left over, you can just throw it in a Ziploc bag and save it for later. Um, you know, then you can paint something else with it. I'm gonna do a scoop of white I'm going to do two scoops of green and two scoops of blue and a little bit of black. Are you okay? Okay, I think you just need a little more white. Ooh, running out of white. All right, that should be good. So now, when you're doing this, what I want you to do is very carefully go around your crown, very carefully go around your raccoon. Um, you want to try to keep the paint as thin as possible because we're going to go back, you know, to do another layer of your crown. So if you've got a big glob of green here and you go in with your yellow and it mixes, you're going to have to touch that up a little bit. So keep that in mind when you're going around with your green. Um, I'm going to start down here. You'll see as you're going, it's it's kind of see-through. It's kind of see-through, um, you know, with those brush strokes. But when we do a few layers of this, it'll we'll cover that up. Okay. I'll flip this over. Remember, keep this really thin as you're going. You don't want it to be too thick. Just chewing on something now. Okay. Oops. Get to your crown. You might want to use your tiny brush. Um, when we get into those t those thin, you know, spots, so just be careful when you're doing this. Probably 
to switch over to my small brush. forget to breathe. <laughs> Don't hold your breath while you're doing these tiny pieces. Don't forget to breathe. Also, you can, with your green, if you, we're going to do a few layers of yellow, so just be careful if you're going over your, like these dot parts and these extra parts, just be careful. Um, but if you do get your green on top of your yellow, we can fix that. Just let it dry. You can add a little more yellow to it. Let it dry and you should be okay. Almost there.
You see all these all these brush strokes? Don't worry, we'll fix that when we do another layer. Um, so let's rinse a brush off here. And you can flip your canvas back over. Also, when you're finished, if you want to paint the edges, you can. You can go back around and um, paint your edges with uh, your background color. Now I can already see that it's drying really green. So when we do our, our other layer, I might add a little bit of white and a little bit of black to it to make it a little more gray. Um, let's see. We're going to mix up a little. So you have this gray that we painted him with, right? So I'm going to add a little black to that. Scoop of black. So we're going to start to go in with your black. Now before we do that, actually I guess we could just go over it later, Never mind, I don't want to confuse you. Um, we're going to do the eyes first because you want in here to be dried so that we can do the light blue. So when you're doing this, that's where I want you to start so that that's the part that dries, okay? So we're gonna start to fill in our black just like we did with our white. So use this to kind of, now you can brush your black up into your white, and then when we come back with your white, you can go in the other direction. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this down a little bit, and then stroke out into where the white is. Again, stay away from the green. We'll come back and do um, the hair that comes out once that green is dry. Okay, so we've got that full. We're going to start to do the same thing over here. Brush him up. Brush down into the white. Stay away from the green. <laughs> okay, now where the eyes are going to go, just do an extra, do an extra few strokes over top, just so you make sure you paint. Um, you spread that paint thin so that that has time to dry, okay? And now we're gonna start to work our black in just like we did with our white. But don't be afraid because we're gonna come back with your white and we'll add more white on top of it. So I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna brush down some of this black here. And I'm gonna go all the way up into the where the crown is. I'm going to brush down here where the white, like the top of the white is, because when I come back, I'll brush the white back into the black. So you're just going to very slowly, because you're going into where your yellow is probably still wet. So when you do that, just be really, really careful. Because you don't want to go into your Brush up where the ear is, but don't do the hair yet. We're just doing, just darkening that gray line. Okay, paint in the center of the ear. And see how I'm brushing down? And see how it's creating that hair piece? Practice with that. 
because that's what we're going to do later with the white. Alright, so same over here, we're going to make this black, don't go into your green, I'm going to say that a hundred times, <laughs> on the other side, <laughs> alright, and then paint in the center of the ear, alright, let's see. going to do, let's do this so that I don't confuse you. Let's do this line down to where the nose is. Um, that way we can create that highlight when we come back in with our white. So let's do that and then what I want you to do is, actually don't do that right now because that's going to confuse you too. Okay, so now come down here, um, brush your black up into your white, because when we come back we're going to brush the white down into the black. Just to give you some practice to do that, those hair pieces. Okay, and then you're going to kind of paint in this whole thing. I'm leaving the bottom, I'm leaving down here, actually just paint in the whole thing, we'll come back with black. keep getting ideas of how to do it differently and I think I should just do what I did originally. <laughs> sorry, that's how my brain works. How do I make it better? I'm sorry, okay. It'll be awesome, I promise. I'm gonna make him a little rounder. So now let's see, where else did we put black? I think that's good for now. Um, we're going to go back and do another layer of your crown. So rinse off your brush. And we're going to, we're going to add color to your original color. Um, but I want you to save some of this darker yellow just in case later if you need to touch it up. Like touch up your crown. So take... Oh, sorry. Take like a scoop of this yellow and just move it off to the side so that you have a little bit. This is like, I don't know, a pea sized amount, just in case if you need to go back and touch that up later, okay? Um, you can take a little bit of this white and mix it in here. You're not completely changing your color. This is just going to be your first kind of lighter tone color. Okay, so you're going to go over the whole thing again, but what I want you to do now is start to create where those triangles are, so those other triangles. So we're going to do the back ones first. So paint in the back ones first. help you to later create those highlight pieces because these triangles you're going to start to form them now. Okay and then these guys will go over top. If you get green on your brush like I just did just wipe it off with a paper towel. You'll be alright. You won't bring it into your yellow. If you do bring it into your yellow, just wipe it. You can keep going over it with your gold. And then um, it's important to let it dry before you go back over it with another layer. Don't think that if you just keep going over it and over it with like a big, like if you cover it up with a big blob, that that's going to do it. Just do a thin layer, let it dry, and go back with a thin layer and you should be okay.
right, so once you have your crown painted again, this other layer, oops, sorry, I forgot the bottom. So the second layer of your crown should be good. And we're gonna do another layer of your background color. So what I want you to do is we're gonna add a little, <laughs> the dog's back. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of white and I'm gonna add a little more black to it. I want it to have like that gray tone. If you like your color, you can totally stick to what your color is. You don't have to change it at all. I, I would like mine to be a little more of this lighter green. There, so I'm gonna add a little more white. <laughs> Maddie's now under the table. Okay. I think that's good. So now we're gonna do another layer of your background. Hopefully this covers it up. If it doesn't, keep it thin. Um, if it doesn't do it, see mine's covering pretty good. But if yours doesn't do it in this layer, um, you can go back and touch up your background. If you need to. And you won't need to do the whole thing. You can just do like the, the few pieces that are still, um, um, you know, if you still have those thin layered, see-through layer, like brush stroke pieces, you can just go back to those spots. All right, so what I want you to do is work your way around your raccoon before you do the crown. Okay, because we want, we want to give that raccoon, um, around the raccoon time to dry. So before you do any of these thin pieces in between the crown, I want you to do in between, or I want you to cover the raccoon first. So make sure that you do this around his edge so that he has time to dry and we can go back in and do these fur pieces. Oop, I think I chopped off some of his cheek hair. Go back with my little guy here. <laughs> Maddie.
did you find? What are you sniffing for? <laughs> okay, so work your way around the crown again. Which is quite a bit of work. I'm so sorry. I hope you're alright out there. <laughs> You could also get rid of these circle pieces if it's too hard for you to go around. Make it just like a, a crown with spikes on it, no circles. These circles are kind of hard to paint around, I'm sorry. Um, my green is going a lot into the yellow. When we go back to touch up and do those highlight pieces, um, you can come back with your yellow and you can touch those up so don't worry if that if your um, green got into your yellow it should be okay to fix that a little later okay um, we got that all in the green let's rinse our brushes we're gonna do some more of this raccoon here all right before we do any of the fur I want you to map out where your eyes are going to go. So we're going to do that with a, oh, made it dark. We're going to do that with a light gray. So just take a scoop of this dark gray over and just add a scoop of white to it. Just so it's lighter. Add a little bit. So now we're going to make the circles that are the eyeballs. So when we go in with your blue, your blue is just going to be this kind of U shape under here, but right now we're going to make that circle that's the gray. So you don't need a lot on your brush, you don't need to have a complete solid gray, but you're going to, if it's easier, um, let's see how I can help you guys do this. So from where your ear is. I'm going to draw a little circle. Same thing, corner of your ear, I'm going to draw a little circle. Make sure it's even with this guy. So think of that as like the pupil, like that center circle. So now draw the bigger circle around it. And that's going to be your eye. Now this gray is going to be kind of an outline eyeliner around the eye that you have. But we can come back and touch that up. Alright, so now what I want you to do, same thing on the other side. Once you have your circles, just make sure they're about even. Um, they don't need to be perfect, obviously. Ooh, that's scary looking. <laughs> um, they don't need to be even. And you're going to paint this gray in where the blue is going to be. So I'm doing this um, on the left side corner piece, this I'm doing on the right side. And I'm saying corner, I, I'm aware that circles don't have corners, but you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so you're painting the gray in where the blue is going to be. Um, the rest of this we're going to paint in with a black color. And then I have these like little ray pieces coming off from the eye. You can do that now. Um, they're just kind of, these are just little kind of wrinkly pieces if you want them to be. Um, it just gives it a little extra brightness here. Okay. They don't need to be dark. I have them kind of dry brushed, kind of chalky in there, but we can come back with your black later. Um, you can see that. Okay, so now let's draw out some of these other gray pieces. So we've got some gray in here where the nose is going to be. Let's draw your nose in with this gray. So I'm drawing kind of a sad face little spot. I'm drawing them down a little bit and then I'm going to almost like I'm going to be drawing a triangle 
piece, but I'm going to make it straight on the bottom instead of having a point. Okay? Nose is there. You can make it bigger or smaller if you need to. Round mine a little bit more. Now this is just to give you kind of a guide for later. Because um, once we start going in with our whites and blacks again. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my medium brush again and I'm going to start to do the white so with this white we're going to start to create these fur pieces so I'm going to start up here and we're just going to stroke these guys up if you need to, you can turn it to the side to create like hair pieces, pointy pieces, whatever you're comfortable with. Just kind of play around with it. And you can make some hair around your ear, around this white spot. I'm going to brighten up this white piece up here. Okay, and then I'm going to go down this way make more of this fur piece in the corner here. I'm going to bring you over this way. Same thing with that ear. Starting my forehead here, I'm sorry. Bring that fur up. If you need to turn it to the side, you can. Maddie, what you sniffing? Sorry, Maddie's the dog that's under the table, by the way. I'm not crazy talking to myself, I promise. <laughs> Alright, and then bring some of this white down. Um, the white you're going to brush kind of into this black, but you're going to leave, I'm leaving it dark in the center there, but I'm just kind of lightening the spot here. And I'm going to brighten up this piece down to my nose. And I'm just brushing over the black. Um, hopefully that becomes a little grayer, a little darker. If not, I can go back with my black. Um, and then this here, we're going to brush into the black, making little, little fur pieces down from the nose. Same thing on the other side. Let's do this ear over here. A little brighten this guy back up, give him some fluff. Brighten up this side. Some fluff. start to fluff around the eyes. So we're going to start to fluff in some of these eye pieces. So you're doing the longer pieces first. And then these pieces that are in the front, you can brush it down into the black. Yeah, you just you just working your way around. Um, we'll come back with the black again, and if we need to, we can come back with the white again. It just depends how how light and bright you want it. Um, the white that is. Okay. So brush some of these pieces up, and then brush some of these pieces down into the black, up into the ear. 
down into the black, over into your ear. Okay, and now when we get to this corner, we're going to start to have the fur go into um, your background color. So you can do little bits this way and then little bits out to your green. So little bits down into your raccoon and then little bits out into the background. Okay. And then let's do the same thing on this side. Work your way down, little bits into the black and then out into your background. Okay, now we're gonna come back to the nose piece here. So you can lighten up some of this center. And then I have kind of like a crease piece here. So it's lighter there. Just give them like a little highlight here. Got a little crease kind of where his nose starts to kind of push out. Okay, and then we're going to lighten up around his nose. And don't worry if you paint over it, the nose, I mean, because we can you can come back. It's going to be black anyway. Um, so let's, uh, let's see, go around your nose with the white still fluffing in little bits to make fur up into the black, down into the white, and out into the background. Up into the black, down into the ba um, background. This part too, so like come down around his nose and you can brush down into his, um, his I guess his chest. Kind of under his nose lower a little bit. Okay, same thing, we'll go this way. Up into the black, down into the background. Thing this way, down into your black. Slowly it's becoming a hairy little raccoon. Okay. Oh, let's do the bottom. Alright, so these white pieces, I'm leaving like a space up here so that that shadow, it's like his head is going over it. This you're gonna start to just brush in some white over on the sides here. And you can brush it into the black. We're gonna come back and do black anyway, so you can brush it into the center. So I'm gonna do a little on this side, same thing. Brush it out into your background color. And then come on into the center. Because we're going to go over that anyway, so don't worry about that. I think that's good for now with your white. So now we'll go back. We'll come back with your black in a minute. Let's do some. <laughs> Let's do some crown highlights. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna take that yellow that we just made lighter. I'm gonna add another scoop of white to it. This is going to be our highlight strip. So I'm going to do this color, and then if we need to, we can go back on top with white if you want to make it even brighter. 
So here's what we're going to do. These front three, we're going to draw the triangles almost down to the base part. Okay? So when you highlight your base part, you're going to do that rim. That's that front rim over to the side. Okay? It looks way brighter because of the light. Oh, here, I'll go like this. And then you're going to do some highlight pieces on the front here and then on the bottom. Don't worry if you color into the black because we can go back and fix that on uh, when you do your black of your, raccoon, of your raccoon. Okay, and then these front pieces, so you can use your pinky kind of as a kickstand if you need to. So this center piece, I'm going to draw almost all the way down and almost all the way down on the edge. And then I'm going to brush into the center. Not really getting rid of that darker yellow, but just adding it. Sorry, that glare is really bad. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one, same thing. Down the edge, down the edge. And I brushed into my green. I can go back with my green later. Don't worry about that. Okay, and then brush into the center. Same thing over here. You're going to go down the edges and then brush into the center. See how I'm leaving this space down here with that darker yellow? Creates a little bit of a like shadow. So now these back pieces, I'm just going to do the top. Just a little bit. Okay. And then the circles, we're going to create this highlight piece, I'm keeping it all to the right. Nope, sorry, left. <laughs> keeping the highlights all to the left. So I'm doing kind of just like a, a loop on the side. A little highlight piece on the edge here. Okay. And we're going to come back with white. So solid white. And I know I still have, I still have yellow on my brush, but go right into your white. And I'm going to do left and the right, left and the right of these front ones to really brighten up those pieces. And then the shine that you did in the circle, just do a little center dot, just a little brush stroke to really make that pop. And then down bottom, I'll do a little bit here here and then some in the center. So I did a little stripe on the left, a little stripe on the right, right, and then a little bit in the middle just to give it an extra little highlight with the white, okay? Sorry that glare is so bad. There we go. Okay, so crown is done. If you want to um, your original gold, like if some of your highlights got really dark, you can go back in with your original gold and, and kind of brush that into your highlights. That might help to make it a little less stripey, okay? Or it just helps make it a little duller. Okay, so crown is done. So now, Mr. Raccoon. We need to build up his eyes, we need to do his nose, and then we need to go back with the black a little bit. So let's do, let's do the blue. Um, I did like a sky blue for his eyes. You can do whatever color you want to do, it's up to you. I just thought the blue against the black was really nice. Um, so I did, and I'm using my tiny brush to stir here, you don't need a lot of paint. Um, I did a little scoop of blue and a little scoop of white, and I don't want a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm kind of rolling to get a lot of this paint off. And you're going to brush in just the, I know I, I'm calling them corners, and I know that circles don't have corners, but you're doing like the left corner of this circle. the right corner of this circle 
and we're going to come back and brush black into it, but for now, just have the brush strokes with the blue here, okay? All right, so now we're going to come back with black. Now, I'm going to do some of my fur with black, and then we'll come back to the eyeballs with black. All right, so, oh, I'm saying black. I mean this black that we mixed. Sorry. So we're going to come back in. Same thing we just did with the white. So now, let's do all the... <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. All right, so I'm going to do the ear here first. I'm going to stroke in some hair into our background to give it some fur. Same thing on this side of the ear. We'll start from the bottom and flip up so that he's got some hairy. I'm not going to go all the way to the top though. So I'm just stopping a little short. Uh, let's see, over here we got a same thing. Give him some fur off his ear here. Same thing on this side. I'm just kind of flicking to create those tiny pieces. This is the part, if you, I was talking about with the brush, if, you, if you'd rather use your little brush, you can. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. We'll brush a little bit here. Okay, um, let's see. I don't know, I don't think I need to darken up any of these pieces. But if you need to, see how you can go over your black with your black? Just to give some hairy, hairy pieces there, if you need. Um, same thing around here. If it got too white, you can brush your black into some of these white pieces to give it more, a little more depth with your hair. And then we can go back with your white on top of that. Look over here, I want a little black. And then we can come back with your white later. But just to create a little more eyebrow effect here. Just look around if you're painting any anywhere that's like too white. Add a little black to it. Okay, so now let's do his chest. And just brush in over the white. And I'm just gonna start to add some hair pieces to where these, like the white is. So you're not covering it. You're almost just stroking over top of it just to create some of that hair. Okay. shoulder pads. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. I think that's good there. Alright, so now if you want to, you can go back with your white. <coughs> so where we just added those, like, <clears throat> excuse me. brush into your black to kind of lighten them up. Same here with these eyebrows. You can just kind of brush over with your white to lighten them a little. See, and it doesn't cover them. It just kind of mutes them down a little. All right, and then the hair that goes along the side, if you want to create any more like super white pieces, you can 
can do that now. that's good so now let's do eyeballs tiny brush um, I'm going to go in with black nope I'm gonna go in with dark gray first so this dark gray you're going to start to shape out the circle of your eye Now I'm keeping, I'm keeping that gray kind of like an eyeliner, okay? And you're gonna brush, you're gonna start to brush this gray into your blue. Not getting rid of it, just kind of brushing this into your gray, same thing this way. I think I went up high enough with that one. Okay, so same thing we did with your hair. We did white into black, black into white, white into black. Do the same thing with your eyes where you did this gray down into your blue. Now you can go back in with your blue and do your blue up into your gray. And that'll help give you that kind of strokey, like shine with your blue. So you can keep kind of going back and forth here. And then this dark gray, I'm going to let's see. see. You can just kind of give it that stroke back and forth. So now do the same thing with the other. I'm gonna go in with my gray. I'm gonna add more up top here. And then I'm gonna stroke into my blue. your blue, stroke your blue into your gray, okay, now for the black, I'm doing straight black out of my palette. I'm going to do a center circle. Be careful of your blue. Okay, center circle. And then I'm going to brush into the gray. Now you can do this kind of like a dry brush. You're just darkening the outside of the eye. And then you're gonna take this black all the way around the blue. So we're kind of outlining that eye. Don't worry if you cover up this, um, the light gray and go back. And go back and make that darker. Okay, so I have the black going all the way around the eye. So center circle with your black, and then you're going to go around 
the eye, stroking some of this black into that dark gray. And you're going to go around the light blue. So completely outline kind of where the blue is. Don't forget, if you go over your gray, you can go back later. circled around. Okay, so now this black that you have on your brush, wipe off a little bit and we're going to start to just dry brush some of this, um, the eyes. So keep your brush strokes going down. So you're following the nose down. You're going to go around the eye. So around the eye, down the nose, around the eye, down the nose. If you run out of paint, dip into your black, wipe it off. You want this to be dry brushed on there, so kind of like chalky. Dip into your black, wipe it off. And you can kind of brush into the grays, those gray lines that you had there. You're just kind of darkening up this eye. Almost looks like a hole, but <laughs> you're darkening up this eye piece. But keep the dry brush, you don't want it to become too dark too quickly. You see that? Okay, so same thing down along the nose and around the eye. And just keep you can just stroke in some of this black. Dip into your paint, wipe it off on your paper towel so you don't have a lot. Okay. All right, so now if you need to, let's touch up some of that gray that went around the eye if you need. So this is going to go on the outside of the black. It's almost like an eyeliner. So the gray is, the black is on the inside. Okay. Black is on the inside gray is on the outside and just go around it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be completely covering just so you can see okay now rinse that brush off we're going to go in with a little bit of white we're going to do these like shine so this one here is going to be in the center. Same over here. I'm sorry, I'm saying center. I mean, I don't mean center at all. Um, so that pocket there that's almost like your eyebrows, that's where he's going to go. And then you're going to have lines over the blue. Like I was talking about those corners. And keep it. Keep it curved like you're drawing circles around your eye. Okay, give that little that little shine. And now Mr. Nose. Nose we're gonna do with this dark gray. So you can paint that guy in. Keep it thin because we have to do that, um, we still have to do the shine over top of it. Now, if any of your lines are really straight on your nose where you want to kind of curve them out, like so he doesn't have like a like a corner to his nose, you can do that now. Just kind of rounding those edges a little bit. Okay. Now your nosey is colored in. I think we need to brighten up this piece here a little. And that I'm gonna do with my little brush. Just go in with a little bit of white. Just 
to brush in some fur where that like little brim piece is. I'm just gonna go up a little bit just so these lines don't look so strange. Like you just added these pieces and there's no other fur like this on the face. Oh, goodness. Whiskers. All right. Um, whisker pieces, uh, it's up to you what brush you want to use. I'm going to use this tiny guy. Now, it depends how your face is, but so the whiskers that I have up here that are over the black, I have white. The ones down here that I have over the white, I have black. Okay, so start from, start from the top here. I'm going to do a little guy. Try not to push too hard on your brush. And you're just gonna so I'm stroking in those two and then I think I'm gonna do this one in white and I'm gonna do underneath in black. Okay, so same thing on the other side. The little guy on the top. white ones so I'm gonna do the rest in black. Maddie are you okay? Um, black if you can still do this dark gray though you don't have to do solid black. I think the black might be too shocking. Here so this one I'm gonna do underneath the white one that I did just to kind of highlight it and then I'm gonna do two over here two over here. on the brush. Alright. I think that's it. Mr. Raccoon is finished. I think... Oh no, I, I lied. <laughs> nose glare. Alright, so nose glare you can do in white. And you're going to do a little, like follow this rainbow shape that we, we drew at the top. Draw that guy in first with a little white, and then you'll have a little center smudge, and then a few little center smudges in white kind of going down. There you go. Nosey's highlighted. And this is a little bit darker, I think. All right, there's Mr. Raccoon King. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I think I did. <laughs> I know I did. Um, uh, if you don't already, please subscribe to our page. If you end up painting, please show and share them. We'd love to see them. Um, and I hope you guys come back soon. Have a good day. Have fun. <laughs> see you later.